We had to roll out of here in three weeks. Nah, four weeks. But yeah. Four weeks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we have four Heaps weeks. Heaps of time, really, but it just doesn't feel like it. Yeah. So, anyways, this video is about building. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of building, so check it out. So, today in the van, I'm going to start putting these lights in. So, I've got one in see how it was gonna fit and stuff. I, I think it looks pretty good. I was unsure about the white at first, but you know, I think it matches the, the new roof fan. Pretty awesome. So it's gonna look good. Here we have it. Lights are installed. Ta -da. We have five spots coming down the main cabin and three spots over our kitchen, which is currently still a construction zone. <laughs> we have a reading light back here. two settings and two USB ports for charging phones. Check out our lighting, nighttime lighting. <laughs> Check the solar out. Yeah. Woo! It's bright. Yeah, we're not wanting for light in here. <laughs> this is awesome. So we have three beautiful spots above where the kitchen is going to be. And then five spots lights coming down the center of the whole van. And they pull like all together, almost no amps whatsoever. 1.2. Yeah, so all those lights on full blaze, 1.2 amps. Look at that. It's beautiful. We got lots of light in there. Unboxing the stereo time. So we got two sets of speakers. Two for the front of the cab and two in the back. And then we got this fancy JVC head unit. <laughs> Did you have an epiphany? Yeah. Yeah. No, I had to rewire the mess in the dash to accommodate that huge brand new stereo and I thought I had everything right and I knew I'd done it good. It kept telling me that I'd miswired something and then I finally figured out I've got no speakers on it and so... <laughs> that will be the problem. Hi, it's an easily solved problem. Yeah, I've got to put speakers in. Okay. Alright. Should we test it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got the phone paired to the stereo now. So let's try some music. Hey! We have music. Sweet. The rear speakers aren't working. I'm um, hoping that's not me. We have a faulty wire behind this wall running to the speaker. So the idea is to run the wire behind the molding up here into this hole. Of course, we're going to have the control panel butt up against the molding mm -hmm. and now we just need to figure out if we can get from this hole to that hole so we don't have to have a wire showing on the wall. Do you want to yep. give it a go? Because we haven't insulated back there yet. You touch your finger. Alright, Plan B. There's always a plan B, hey hon. Yep, gotta have a plan B. <laughs> C, D, E, and F. <laughs> Alright. 
Uh, well, maybe that's why. <laughs> and we have sound. Don't we, darling? Yes. <laughs> Two back here in the living space. One on each side. Kind of in the middle of the space. And then we're going to have two up front in the cab. This is just temporary for the process of building. Speaker boxes for them. And the head unit is of the double den variety, which filled the hole that we already had in the dash pretty much. So that was the logic behind that. Woo! We got sounds, baby. Yeah. We got all of the speakers working and yeah, we're just going to try how it sounds. Okay, so we're working on the seam now where the cork on the sides meet the ceiling. And originally we had planned to use an oak molding up there, but the ceiling is not very straight and the molding is just not going to work. So. Plan B is to use this filler stuff. Yeah, wood uh, colored wood filler. So we're hoping it's gonna match the cork pretty good. And then we're just gonna gunk the seam. We might have been happier with a darker color, but yeah, it's all right. You reckon? Yeah, probably, but this is fine. Maybe it dries dark. I think it might do. Yeah. You can't put a different color on, can you? Oh no, this is it. Problem solving. Problem solving. <laughs> and then we can move on. Then we can move on. Yeah. The final day today. We're going to be installing this final mat. into the living space of the end. We've just been measuring the roll. It's been a fairly easy installation in the sense that all of our perimeter cuts of this vinyl will be hidden in or under cupboards, so we don't have to be super tidy with our cuts. So I'll just trim this edge now or later? Um, now, we'll just trim all of it now and make it so much easier for us. If you want to put glue on that side, yeah. you roll up the carpet here, put glue here and then roll it back up. Oh, you just want to leave it in place here? Like, yeah. yeah, good idea. Yeah. I so understand we roll half right. and then the other half. Yeah, the that's good. again and floor glue. Floor glue is no good for ceiling and cork, but for actual floor, let's hope, yeah. How much time have I got to <laughs> deal with this? <laughs> in the edges so we get a watertight seal along the edge. So that the spring in the legs can be golden. Yeah. And there we have vinyl floor. We've been waiting for this day, it's quite exciting. So it's looking beyond expectation I think. I love the combination with the cork. Beautiful, beautiful sight. Beautiful sight. Well right. done, darling. I'm hungry. Let's go get dinner. <laughs> Curry time.
It's cunning uh, curry today. This one's amazing. talking about the ventilation in the, in the van when we cook. Mm. We have installed this lovely cork ceiling and we don't want it to come delaminating <laughs> over the kitchen with all this steam. Mm. And we don't want to install something big like this hood. But we're thinking we have our exhaust fan or our ventilation fan right behind the kitchen. Mm. So now we're mulling over. Can we design something that we can just help guide the steam over the film. It's okay. fucked, mate. On that note, I think we've, uh, we're going to eat now, so. Yeah. Down the tour this morning. We'll see if the floor stops. Oh, it's not going to stop. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah, floor we put down last night, the late uh, van the floor is looking great. It's awesome. And now we have to go and get the spare parts. Yep, the glow plug relay. The glow plug relay. The really expensive glow plug relay. Yeah, otherwise story doesn't go anywhere. Oh yeah, I can't have that. Okay, it's in. Yeah. All right, sort of just a moment of truth now. <laughs> Did what it was meant to do. Okay. So it drawed power to the um, glow plugs. Did that, then switched off. That's that's brilliant. So it should <laughs> theoretically just start. So we have a running van again. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. All right. That was the problem all along. I've been having like issues with this thing for like the past two weeks. Yeah. I was just wondering what, what was going on. Finally traced it back to the, the relay. All right. The glow plug relay. Well, it's a 35 year old part. And now I have a brand new <laughs> part next to all the other original parts. Let's hope nothing else breaks. Whoops. I'm gonna like put a metal primer on before we're going to paint the doors today. First coat of blue is gone on and it's a lot of blue. <laughs> it's a lot more blue than I anticipated. I've forgotten about the door. The entire sliding doors are blue. And the back doors are blue. I was thinking just the walls are blue. That's what we're going to do now. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, there's a lot more blue. So mm -hmm. it's very, very... <laughs> the good thing about it is that this blue color did not make it too much darker. It's a good yeah. undercoat. <laughs> hey! I still love the color. Yeah. But we'll do the windows in it. Yeah. Different color. I love this blue, but it might be a little much, so we have to just look what at it. What color are we going to do the window? White. I don't know, darling. Same color as the shelves. Weird. No, it's too dark. It'll swallow the light from the windows. That's why you do light colors in windows, don't you? painting with a magnet paint. It's kind of a bizarre, freak goofy paint filled with metal bits, I think, that makes the surface you paint magnetic. And the idea with that is to um, serve as a part of our window covering system. I want to be able to attach the mag um, curtains to the bottom of the window sills with magnets. So we will block out the light good. 
since the van is leaning or the walls are leaning a little bit, the curtains won't hang flush to the wall since we're leaning a little bit like this. So if I sew in some magnets in the curtains, I can stick them to the side and the bottoms to get them to cover the windows a little bit. I hope it will work. I never worked with this paint before, so it's an experiment. Painted everything blue the other day, and while we love the color, we feel like it's a bit much of it. So we're gonna bring it back a notch and paint the window frames and windowsills white. Which do the classic Volkswagen white and teal combination. And uh, this gray black paint this is the magnet paint I did yesterday, and that's hopefully gonna work with our curtains. But first, I'm gonna use a primer, white primer, to cover all this stuff up and then paint the windows white. First coat of paint on the window sills. It's a process. I finished painting the lovely window trim today. It's white. It does reflect light and lets a lot more light into the bus. I'm happy about that. And tomorrow I'll paint it blue. It's getting there. So it is surely. One more coat. And then I think we're done. The bulk of the paint job is done. And we have used this aqua paint in the interior. Which translates to kind of the classic Volkswagen teal and white look. A little like the retro feel in combination with the cork and our fabulous floor. Here underneath our heater. More on that later. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> Finally done. Yeah. That's what we're happy about. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll be finished by Friday and next week. Says the man who has to build, what, seven drawers from scratch? No, eight or eleven drawers or something from scratch? Too many drawers. <laughs> if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more, visit our website and engage on social media or consider supporting us on Patreon. You'll find links in the description below. Until next time, go out and live a life worth living. Tonight, there was actually a um, complete blackout. We lost power in the whole neighborhood. So mm -hmm. Scott was down here working in the van and <laughs> probably the only person with power on for miles. And uh, gotta love solar. Awesome. Love being self-sustained, self-sufficient, off-grid, whatever you want to call it. Off-grid man. Off-grid man. It's awesome. <laughs>